Well, hi guys. It's Monday. I got Cole with me. We just went for our walk. You can tell he he's tuckered out by the way he's breathing so hard. He's tired. It's getting dark. Better part of the day got away from us. But we're back here at the truck. Just chilling. Getting ready to go back home. Mm. Had a pretty decent day at work. Uh, and um, got off and did some moving around, some stuff at the shed, at the uh, storage unit. And some stuff done at the shed, so everything's good. You hot? We're going to get moving. Because I want him to be able to get some fresh air. Because he's panting really hard. Not really hot out here, but he's been running pretty fast. And um, I got some water in here for him. But it's easier to just take him home. We're not far from the house. Take him home and get him some water. Some good cold water. Oops, ran over a bump. And um, everything will be all good. But uh, what I gotta say, oh, sleepy guys. It's time for me to go to bed. Gotta get up early tomorrow, do it all over again. So just my life, guys. It sucks, but the alternative is being broke. I've tried both out, and um, I prefer to be tired and working than to be broke because even though you feel like you're being controlled and you don't have a life, at least you're making money to be able to afford to uh, live a decent life, a comfortable life, and everything. So it's a trade-off, you know. I forgot to put my seatbelt on. There we go. Seatbelt. So, having a job is a, is a blessing and a curse, you know. But I prefer to be working. I prefer to be working less hours and making more money, but it is what it is. You gotta take what you can get. You know, I'm fortunate. A lot of people aren't as fortunate as I am. And you know, put this window up so you guys can hear me better. I'm happy for what I've got, you know. Uh, that's what a lot of people's problem is nowadays they're not grateful for what they have you know when I was working before I complained I bitched and whined about how many hours I was working and the fact that I didn't have time to enjoy the money but I was working I was able to make money I was able to buy stuff for the bug out camper and do stuff I was able to uh, I was able to go camping and um, do stuff for coal. And I was able to get a little ahead. You know? Uh, oh, God, I'm so tired. I was able to put a little money in the bank. You know, save up a little bit. Pay up my credit cards. You know, pay them down to almost nothing. And, um, but I didn't have no time to enjoy nothing or whatever. I was... And I complained about it. But when they fired me from that job, and um, I didn't have, I wasn't working, I had to find something else because my savings had ran out and my um, credit cards are starting to climb back up again because I was using the money to, to live off of. Um, I was off about three months. But during the time I was looking for work and whatever, I was going to temp services and working two or three days a week and everything and whatever. And um, I was glad for having the time off, but I didn't have any money, you know. And the bills still kept coming. I still had bills, I still had stuff I had to pay, I had stuff to do, stuff I wanted to buy for the, the bug, out, bug out camper and other stuff or whatever. Uh, fortunately, my, my viewers, um, 
saw that I was off and whatever, and some of them sent me some stuff, you know, to help me out and whatever. I appreciate that. Um, you guys had my back. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. But uh, I had to go looking for work. And it was a pain in the ass. It's hard to find a job, guys. It's, it's hard. Um, filling out applications and everybody wants a resume and all that bullshit. They want you to jump through a bunch of hoops and everything so that you can give them your life. You know, like, hey, I'm willing to work for you, you know. And they got nerve to be picky and choosy. And then you get on the job and you see that you got felons and drug addicts and all kinds of manner of dregs of society working with you. And you're like, this is bullshit. These fuckers put me through all kinds of bullshit to, to get the damn job. Had me jumping through all kinds of fucking hoops and shit. Like I'm working for the damn government or something. Like this is a, a really special job or some shit, whatever. And I'm working with the most low-class, Jerry Springer ass coming off the step set of motherfuckers that you can fucking imagine. All those hoops I had to jump through. But I'm grateful to have the job, though. I can complain about the coworkers and how they are. I can complain about the job and the hours and everything. But I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm grateful now that I do have a job making decent money. And uh, it's a relatively easy job. I like it. You know, I'm working on the back of a garbage truck. Some people might think that's uh, beneath them. And to some people, it may be beneath them. You know. For me, it works out good. I like the job. I like the people. You know, you only got to deal with one person. That's the other guy that's the driver, the driving the truck or whatever. You know, um, and he's a cool guy. You know, so I'm grateful for having a, a decent job, making decent money, and everything. Because there are a lot of people out there that don't have it so lucky. And um, for you guys out there that don't have it so lucky, um, I'm not gonna be bitching about my job or whatever because I'm fortunate to have it. And I wish you guys luck at finding something to do because you, you, you gotta have a job in order to survive out here. I don't wanna have a job, I don't wanna have to have a job to survive, or whatever, but there's no choice, you have no choice. You gotta work, you know, you gotta work. You're gonna be tired, you know, you're gonna be, you know, um, underappreciated but when you get your check at the end of the week and you're able to pay your bills and you're able to do a little extra stuff or whatever it's all worth it in the end you know you just suck up your gut suck up your pride and whatever and stick it out and get out there and just do your job just do it you know that's all just do it guys you know um, I can say that because I've got two years maybe two and a half years of this bullshit to have to deal with and I'm retired and then I'm just gonna live off social security. Everything will be paid for and everything and I can do that. But a lot of you guys out here that are just starting off, you're in your 20s, in your 30s or 40s, you got 30, 40 years of this bullshit to have to deal with. You guys are fucked. What the fuck you looking at, man? I got this. I'm probably looking all up at my truck. Nosy ass people. But, um, yeah, that sucks, guys. The fact that the younger guys that have 30 years to look forward to this bullshit, that's a uh, cold star dog. Uh, we're home, pretty much. And um, it's getting dark. Mosquitoes are coming out. Um, like I said, I'm done for the day. I'm going to go home, eat, maybe listen to a couple of videos, upload this video so you guys can watch it tonight. Hopefully you guys will get to see it. And um, all I can say is be grateful for what you got, guys. If you, you got a piece of shit job or whatever, at least you got a piece of shit job. You know, they're not paying much or whatever. Make do with what you got. Try to scale down your life so that you're uh, 
living expenses are less than what you make so that you can uh, you'll be able to uh, live a little comfortable comfortably whatever but uh I'm home back into this driveway there I am there we go I'm here ready to go in the house call put that window up that window up it's good to be home I'm grateful to be home I'm grateful to have my little buddy wait what's this oh that's just a, a cocoa bug I thought it was a tick we can't have that, right? Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.